Okay, so this is a quick demo on how to add hair or fur into Blender uh, quite quick. So the first thing you want to do into Blender is to import uh, your object if that's what you want to do or create your own object. In this case, I'm using a sphere. And um, the next thing you want to do is to add fur. So here in the, um, in the 3D view, uh, panel and uh, there is an object option which has a quick effects uh, this is uh, uh, default in blender and you add a quick fear and uh, here you have uh, a thousand uh, particles distributed into the object uh, in, in, in blender and um, I'm, I'm going to change to this object here which has a better definition uh, with a, a black texture and as you can see here in the in this preview and the uh, render at viewport um, they look like grass and you don't want it that so uh, to, to change this you select the object with right click and jump into the, this right panel here in the particles uh, tab and go to the bottom into the uh, cycles hair settings and you want to change uh, the root and the tip option of, of the hair um, first uh, change this to 0.1 in the root to uh, make it a bit thinner and here you can change to uh, 0.1 or it depends on your configuration or what you want to do so now we have this hair distributed evenly uh, randomly evenly uh, over the whole object um, and as you can see the all hairs points uh, from the center to the outside uh, in the same direction and uh, we obviously don't want that but first uh, there is a small amount of, of hair particles here and uh, a thousand is quite small so let's change the ten. here's the uh, up updated uh, viewport so, uh, what we would like to do now is to change uh, the way these hairs are pointed so we change here uh, to particle edit but first I wanted to mention that there are several ways in which you can manipulate hair one of those is uh, with the weight paint you uh, create a special map uh, painting with uh, from a range to uh, blue to red and blue meaning nothing and red meaning that it has all and you can assign uh, that map with a vertex group and change these options here on the the vertex group uh, panel on the uh, particles tab but um, that will take a quite long long time to do so the, the easier way is to uh, use uh, this uh, particle edit which has this uh, menu quite uh, easy to use menu uh, with uh, let's let's try the, the comb option of course we, the, the hairs are uh, distributed this way we wanted to comb the hair the way our character may need so quite easy um, you have to rotate to change the view and, and come the the hairs that are, are occluded by by the object and the view and once we do that we uh, to see the results because uh, once we are uh, inside the particle edit uh, the render at uh, viewport is not being updated so once we mode the viewport is updated and this is our current view so um, we go back to, to the particle edit and we maybe wanted to make it 
uh, more hairy so uh, now that we are here uh, there is an option to um, to add more hair here because um, once we use the particle edit uh, the uh, number of particles is blocked here is is not longer usable we can uh, reset this uh, number by disconnecting the hair but that will undo all changes we have here and um, so by pressing add we can add more hair particles to our object of course this will affect your render uh, because there are now more than than 10,000 particles and uh, when when you are rendering you will notice uh, the, the difference uh, your machine may be, uh, will get slower or uh, will start to consume all your RAM so now we have added more particles and the same scenario we have to comp this new hair again and we go back to visualize the changes in the to the render viewport and of course we have more here and another thing you can do is to um, change uh, where you want hair if there is a face of course you don't want uh, uh, much hair there so you can cut out a region uh, of hair with with the cut uh, option uh, one thing regarding this sphere is that it is quite low poly so when we change back to the um, object mode uh, there are areas that are not evenly cut and that will change if you um, add more trees to your object here is the rendered result and of course another thing we, we can do is um, now that the hair is calm but you want it to make it look more like um, an animal you want it to uh, go to the puff option so the hair will, will look uh, messy will look um, that goes into different directions uh, something quite useful useful for animals or um, any messy kind of particle that you wanted to to use with it i can go back to the object and now you have a, a more uh messy hair on the borders and of course another thing you can do is to change the length of the hair uh, you want it to make it longer you just have to uh, brush long hair with the length brush and of course you can change to grow shrink it depends on on your needs but if you wanted to make it quite long you can use it and when we do this of course um, the hair will uh, maybe not look as we want it so we have to go back again to the um, comb and, and cut the hair again 
to make it look more uh, as we want for our character. It all depends on you. And of course, comp. If you want to look more, more calm, more straight, there is the smooth option uh, to to make it look more. Um, this this is actually more to strain the hair. make it like look like line again with the comb you can make curves to the hair I think that you can do with the with the smooth option so we change back to the object I think this is pretty much it